Hey guys, once again, this is ARIC here, and I'll be narrating another video for you. This time I'm going to be playing uh, Team Slayer on Construct with a bunch of uh, guys from uh, AOR, which is my clan. And I'm a uh, personal fan of Construct. I really like this map. Um, I didn't at first, but I've been playing it more and more recently, and uh, I really like it, apart from when stuff like that happens, but oh well. Um, I really like grabbing a BR on this map, and uh, going to town down the long hallways, um, you know, open and close side, as, as well as, you know, shooting across the top center, all this kind of stuff. It's just a really good map with great fields of fire for the battle rifle, and uh, I just really like this, I really like Construct. Construct is one of my favorite maps. Um, so we're playing uh, some Team Slayer, and I'm sort of uh, just uh, trying to dodge death at the moment, picking up BRs whenever I can. See, I come out the purple left now. Watch this. Watch how I drop that nade, and he runs straight into it. I know he died, but that guy came up behind me. But that was the perfect defensive nade. And then the way I moved, he ran straight into that grenade, blowing himself up. Um, so that was that. In my opinion, that was that that was a, that was a solid. That was a good kill. Um, always throw grenades into those purple rooms because those walls on the back are angled. And those grenades will bounce into tremendous places. In fact, I want you to watch every single time I throw a grenade into one of the purple rooms, how often I get kills. I get maybe six six or seven kills in this entire game by throwing those types of grenades. Um, so they're really useful. Um, I'm, I'm not much of an AR player. All I really know how to do with an AR is run at somebody and hold the trigger and hope that they die. Uh, I prefer the BR, obviously. Um, so whenever I can, I grab a BR, and you'll notice me always going for the BR straight after the respawn. I, my main objective when coming off a respawn is to get a better weapon than the assault rifle. If anybody happens to come along during that, I'll shoot them with my assault rifle, but I can't do much with the assault rifle, so I always go for the battle rifle. Uh, so we're actually losing right now, I think it's about 15 to 9. And uh, we get this spawn down bottom gold lift. So instead of charging up there, when I see these red dots, and especially going up those purple lifts, you're at a real disadvantage coming off those lifts because they know exactly where you're going to be, and you don't know really where they are in that room. So I see all four red dots above me. So me and Leiden, you can see him over there. Well, he moved. Uh, he probably went up the lift. He has he's a flamethrower god, but uh, you can see us sort of hanging out down here for a little bit, sort of taking our time, letting. You know, not not having everybody charge in and get killed, and you can see my teammates are getting kills. And now I'm gonna, now that we've sort of um, started taking over the top of the map some more, I'm gonna start moving back up, find my way up. I'm moving around. I see a purple if that has no red dots above it, so I take the risk and I go up. And now I back and I have uh, high ground. So just with a little bit of patience, we've pretty much retaken the high ground. And uh, coming around to sword. See a guy, put a couple of shots on him. BR was kind of sloppy, but I moved him for the beat down. Get him without losing half of my shields. Throwing a couple of defensive grenades. Uh, the only problem with this map, especially when you're playing with... Uh, this is only Social Slayer, it's not MLG or anything, so... Um, when you're playing with radar on, those, those, uh, those red dots can be a real pain sometimes. Because you don't really know all the time if they're... Depending on where you are, if they're above you, if they're below you, where they are. Sometimes you have to throw grenades, guessing that the person might be even on the same level as you, and a lot of times they won't be. So sometimes you'll see me throw sort of, you might think weird grenades, but I'm doing it based on the red dot, like that one right there. The red dot was below me to the left. I thought the guy was coming to the lift, so I threw a defensive nade. He didn't come up the lift, so that was why I threw that grenade. Sometimes. You might get lucky and you'll catch a guy come up the lift. That's why I throw those types of grenades because you're not really gonna run a grenade, especially on a sort of close quarters game like this. There's gonna be grenades everywhere, so throw those grenades because they're really gonna save your life. Just like that, threw the grenade. The guy walked into it. I had the sword out and he had the first BR headshot on me because I threw that grenade. I was able to switch to my BR and take him out. This guy just out BR, not a problem, and. Uh, Throwing grenades down there to the orange lift because I'm looking around and I, I don't really see a lot of guys. See one over there, kill him with a with a long range headshot with the BR. But I'm sort of don't see any dots. I'm thinking where are they going to be spawning? 
they're going to be spawning down low because they're not up here with us, or they're going to be spawning back um, at the orange lift. So I'm throwing grenades down. Not really sure where they're coming from. So I'm throwing grenades, bouncing off those angled walls back there. I noticed that. Throwing some smoke grenades, and there they are. They're back there. So now I'm got to kill there somehow. Try and move around somehow. There's two of them. Take one of them out, and either I suck or I don't know what happened there. Halo said no, and I died. But uh, we're still losing this game. But uh, well, you just have to wait and see if the tables turn. Um, then you can probably already guess who's gonna win. But um, using the pillars to cover, dodge a grenade, do that guy out, take him out with the BR, not a problem. Um, always watch out for those explosive cores back there on the wall. That's what I'm about to blow up because uh, if you're caught standing next to them, you will probably get taken out because uh, they explode and they can kill you. <laughs> so right there, I jumped back on that ledge after I put in a couple of shots on that guy and sort of faked him out. And he was reloading when I jumped back and I cleaned him up without him even getting to fire back. Clean. I jumped back on half shield, assuming that he might have moved on to a different target, and he had. So that was an easy kill for me. Um, just be on that guy and watch. Another grenade. I see a couple of X's. Bounce grenade off the wall. Bam! Another kill. Always throw grenades, especially if you see red X's, because there'll be weak people, especially with these angled walls um, on construct. It's really good to throw those grenades. Now, right here, I didn't have much of a choice. I was getting shot from down the orange lift, and when I backed up, I was getting shot from across uh, the other side. So I didn't really have much of a choice. So I thought I'd just sort of move up, charge up a little bit, uh, hug in the wall, put some VR headshots on. Uh, I weakened them a little bit, but ultimately a guy came out with full shields and I got and I was killed. But oh well. Um, very aggressively attacked the sword guy right there when he was in the air. He couldn't get a good angle on me, so uh, it will take him out. See, throwing a grenade up, caught the guy, missed a couple of my headshots, but was able to clean him up. And again, I'm backing up and I'm backing up and I'm hugging the wall and I'm jumping up on this ledge. Let my shields come back. Removing myself from the motion detector and then moving around um, to flank. Uh, always good if you can fake people out. Uh, this guy was horrified of my sword, so he said it's not worth living if I'm just going to get sliced up. So he jumped off the edge. Uh, we've actually taken the lead right now. And I'm back here, back orange. Um, and. See a guy getting shot at, or sorry, flamethrower, and leave him to the beach with a flamethrower. Move in, and for some reason, instead of just mealing the guy, switch my sword. I like sword kills, maybe? I don't know. Um, sword fails right there, but uh, lead and flamethrower is him. I put the last headshot on. Need two more kills to win, and this game's almost over. Uh, these two guys quit out, and I usually don't post games where people quit, but it was right at the end of the game, and I thought this was a good enough game. It was There was only two kills left that. I might as well post it. And guys, if you're losing and there's two kills left, stay in the game. For God's sake, it doesn't matter. You can stay an extra 20 seconds and lose rather than quit out. It's just a waste of time. So, anyway, we win that game 50-4-3. to This is ARICU, and I will talk to you next time.